In this video, we will see how to use CD4042, D-latch and Proteus. This IC consists of four D-latches. Each latch inside this IC consists of one data input PN, such as D1, D2, D3 and D4, and two inverted outputs Q and Q bar for each latch. The change in both outputs value depend on the clock level. That is output transition occurs on every positive edge of clock cycle. In addition to these inputs, it also has a polarity input pin 6, which is used to select the mode of clock input. When polarity input is high, the data present at the data input pins is transferred to output pins during negative edge of clock cycle and when polarity pin is low, the transfer occurs during positive edge of clock cycle. This is internal block diagram of CD4042 IC, that shows for internal D latches, and additional circuit, which is used to select clock signal, depending on polarity pin state, either positive edge, or negative edge clock signal. As you can see from the above table, the CD4042 polarity pin, decides the transition of D latch outputs. It decides either output transition, will occur on a positive edge of the clock cycle or negative edge. If polarity signal equals zero, or logic low, it works on a positive edge of the clock, and otherwise on the negative edge of the clock cycle. As you can see from this graph, when the polarity is equal to active low, an input signal goes high on a positive edge of the clock, and output appears on the Q pin, on next positive edge of clock cycle. Similarly, if the polarity is active high, or one, the input signal appears on the output on the negative edge of the clock. As you can see from this graph, even though the input signal is available on the positive edge, but it reflects on the output pin on the next negative edge of the clock. Now let's make a simulation in Proteus, and see how it works. In Proteus a logic probe is used to provide a digital signal, either active high, and active low. And logic probe is used to observe output. Now connect these components, and also connect clock signal with clock pin of CD4042. Also connect an oscilloscope at the output to see waveforms. Now let's run the simulation and check output. We connected an oscilloscope to output pins to see waveforms. Now, click on simulation play button. In this graph, yellow color shows input data, blue color shows clock signal, pink color shows output Q, and green color shows polarity signal. Now let's change the input from 0 to 1, and stop the graph simulation at that time. As you can see, the polarity is active high, the input signal appears on the output on the negative edge of the clock. As you can see from this graph, even though the input signal is available on the positive edge, but it reflects on the output pin, on the next negative edge of the clock. Now let's change the polarity to active high, and as you can see from simulation, when the polarity is equal to active low, an input signal goes high on a positive edge of the clock and output appears on the Q pin on next positive edge of clock cycle. This is how we can use CD4042 latch, and we saw its simulation in Proteus. For complete details and circuit, check the link given in the description of the video.